All right, we're checking out the only game. We're testing science experiments. We'll probably end up sciencing me into an early grave. It's GTA. Have you ever wanted to find out the most ridiculous stuff in GTA and wanted to watch someone torture themselves to do it? Welcome to experiment number one. Can you survive a quarter of a mile fall inside of a container? Now, as you can imagine, everything here is a challenge that I have to complete in order for us to learn something via my own stupidity. Get down safely, it says. What did you build here? That's certainly a long fall. Uh, I don't know. I've never dropped a long distance inside of a shipping container. Oh, you don't get inside the car. The car's locked. Now, obviously, we have to make sure that we do indeed die from this height. And the answer is yes, obviously. <laughs> All right, so I guess it is time to walk inside of the very obvious circle that awaits us. The circle... Oh. Oh, it puts you inside of the shipping container. That's exciting. Oh, hey! Okay. Uh... How will I know when I hit the ground? Besides potentially having my rectum fly out of my mouth. Have I hit the ground yet? Oh, I think we're there. Wow, I didn't take any damage at all. I had no idea. So you can survive a fall from a quarter mile inside of a shipping container. In fact, I imagine you can uh, survive an infinite fall. The question is, how do you get the door open once you're in... <laughs> once you're inside. So I've had to kind of science my way through this in order to find out how to beat this board because there's a teleporter at the bottom and you can't get there unless you can get out of the shipping container. So what I have found is that if you use the gun given, okay, the explodey gun here, and then we fire to the very, very corner. I'm talking like exactly in the corner. It'll open the door and you don't die from it. So then you can finally step out and there you go on to science experiment number two experiment number two can a hydrant put out a fire in gta uh yeah i'm pretty sure it can i i don't know specifically wow <laughs> i feel like there is a severe lack of safety in this test all right so you got your hydrant up here which we have to get working so i assume i have to shoot it or something uh we'll try the okay there we go the rail gun worked so I am burning alive. It hurts a lot. I think I keep, <laughs> I think I just keep getting set on fire and then getting put out by the hydrant over and over again because I survived. The problem is making it through the tightrope while burning to death. Ah, yes. Just another typical day in Florida of burning alive. All right, here's the strat. I'm gonna just, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Come on. Spray your waters on me. More. More. I keep getting set on fire by the ground, but then I'm put out by the fire hydrant. So I think technically it did work and I did survive, although it ran out of water. Okay, so in the great question of can a fire hydrant put out a fire, the answer is absolutely yes, which brings us to experiment number three. Can electricity hurt you underwater in GTA? I don't know. Like you would figure it would do more damage or something underwater. I love how every single experiment is just ways to try and keep me from dying. Don't leave the water. What happens if I leave the water? So is this like a, um, is this here specifically to show you what happens when you, oh, there we go. I was going to say it's, it should be zapping me. It doesn't insta kill you, but it does, you know, shock you and then shoot you off to the side. So that does work. Uh, can I just cheat the board? Can I just like go off on the sun? Oh, you put invisible walls down. All right. Uh, how expansive? Well, you're here. Your, your invisible walls is pretty expansive. Okay. So if you go into the water. And then, I don't know, like, I exit the water. Well, hold, hold on. First, let's see what happens if I touch the electric guys. Oh. Oh. Oh, it does do more damage. That was like a one-hit kill. I got electrocuted and then just insta-died. Huh. Okay, so you have to kind of thumbnail hole this. And we'll get some air here. Are the thumbnail holes getting more thumbnail holy? Yes, they there is electricity on all sides of the death spiral. So, I, and that was kind of a, an unintentional test right there. But you definitely get one hit KO'd under the water with electricity. The other thing is, is I did want to test. Hold on here. What happens if you go outside? Like, does anything legitimately happen? Oh, you catch on fire. Of course you do. Whenever you step out of the water in Florida, 
The heat index is always high enough to spontaneously combust a human body. Okay, note to self, whatever you do, keep swimming. Nothing like checking the weather channel and then finding out that the heat index is like 101,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I wanted to see if I could set myself on fire and then roll into the water. Uh, it did not work at all. I'm dying a lot just testing things out of my own stupidity. All right. So through the very first electrical thumbnail hole, then we have to go through the even more deadly doubled up electrical thumbnail hole. Very good. And yeah, so that'll bring us to experiment number four. Can fire hurt you underwater in GTA? Well, I burned alive everywhere else. I might as well burn alive underwater now. It, it, that would be like a kind of an interesting loop of, of agony because you would get set on fire and then instantly put out, right? <laughs> I'm kind of hesitant to do this. <laughs> All right, here, here we go. And, oh, are, are we in it? There we go. Uh, oh, oh, huh. So, I mean, I'm drowning because I, because I didn't take a breath, but the fire definitely did not set me on a blaze under the water. So no, you don't get set on fire underwater. So basically what you have to do in this little challenge here is swim through the fire and then you have to play Flappy Birds because I think there's an opening at the bottom. So like you swim all the way down. Yeah, here we go, here we go. So you swim all the way down, grab the opening, then pull up, pull up, pull up before you die. Man, this is, uh, the timer on this is kind of rough. Like before you suffocate to death. I'm trying to see if I could cheat the board a little bit. Not only do you get set on fire if you fall out of this challenge, you also just die from the impact of hitting the ground. I want to see if I can, <sighs> you can't, there's a barrier. I wanted to see if I could cheat this going through the top of the board, but you can't because there's a wall here. Also, interestingly enough, you don't get set on fire if just your legs are in the water. All right, I'm going to try and do this literally as perfectly as possible. Chug it. Shut. <sighs> okay, down. Through the fire. Swim as hard as possible. Already be angling downward. Here we go. This is a good run. This is perfect. Peel upward. Go. Go. Just trust it. Just trust it. We got to go to the edge of the barrier. The opening was over here the whole time. So I was kind of doing this the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. I was starting to drown. So now you can climb up here. And now we can go finally to experiment number five, which is can water hurt you underwater in GTA? I don't even know what you would do about that. What are you going to like hydrate me while I'm underwater drowning? Like the only thing it's going to do is assist me in drowning. Why is there a lot of guys with guns chilling out over here? That's not water. That's firepower. Also, I see we have a time limit here of 19. Okay. Okay. So jump in and then, huh? All right, well, what does the water do? Oh, the water, well, I don't know if I can say the water hurts you, but it does throw you, which in that case sets me on fire. I love how I was slowly gyrating during my fall. I was like pelvically thrusting, which was causing me to fall slower. I gotta test something. Yeah, all right, I kind of figured he would have made him invincible. Okay, so the answer is yes, the water absolutely, well, it doesn't harm you, I would say, but it, it propels you. So you have to thumbnail hole this. So as not to hit the water, now there's an even more extravagant thumbnail hole. And yeah, the water kind of just throws you everywhere. It totally ragdolls you. Also, I'm probably going to... Yep, there it is. Okay, through the... Jeez! You do not get a lot of room for error when you're going through these thumbnail holes. All right, thumbnail hole number one. I think I just got grazed by the water there. Thumbnail hole number two. You got to, like, squeeze this way on the left. Oh my God. No. Oh, come on. Ah, no. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. I think the fire hydrant ran out of juice. Now that said, I do want to do this legitimately. So I'm going to see. Here we go. I'm going to see if I can perfectly. That's nice. Okay, good. And now we're going to go bottom right hand corner. Sweet. And there we go. So Yes, water messes you up. Uh, did I not do it in the 19 seconds? Okay, so you basically need the perfect run of the gods. So, just be sprinting with the old breaststroke here. 
Don't worry about the potential for it. You know, insta death. I ba basically how this works is you can't take a breath. If you come up and take a breath, then you're screwed. Now you can make it in the 19 seconds and just barely. I mean, there was no room for error. But that brings us to science experiment number six, which is can a tank shoot underwater? I haven't done a lot of uh, underwater tank sports in my life. What is this wall? There's nothing there. Oh yeah, and the tank unfriends you after 30. What do you mean, unfriend? All right, so I assume once I get in, the timer starts. Are we, oh. oh, oh, okay. So there's like a timer at the top of the screen. So what do you do? Oh, this is a water column. Oh, hold on. I never knew this. The tank, obviously I have targets up here that I assume I'm supposed to shoot. The tank can shoot underwater, but not just that, the tank can function underwater. But only for a certain amount of time. Oh, and then the tank just just disappears. It just literally just disintegrates. And I'm left in the full seated position underwater. That was interesting. Okay, so shoot. And then what other like targets are there? There's a lot of, is that people? There's a lot of targets on top of the water. There's like three or four boats. If you go back and forth through the water column, the tank continues to function. It gets like, I don't know, maybe like six, seven, eight seconds of underwater immunity where it can totally function underwater, fully function. In all my years of playing GTA, I never knew that. Like I never knew that you could just use the entire tank under the water. Also one of the boats, when you blow up all the boats, has a teleporter attached to it. So I'm assuming what you have to do is drive the tank. There you go. Drive the tank into the teleporter when it falls to the ground. And now you're allowed to go on to the next science experiment. Ow. Well, it just dropped me off. That's great. And dropping me off for school. If all school was, was me getting set on fire and falling from great heights. I know someone out there is going to be like, yeah, it's basically school in 2024. Experiment number seven. What animals can outrun a proximity by? <laughs> God. We've got all kinds of options here. So just from all of my time of doing stupid things in this game, and of course having a best friend named Meaty Bits, the deer, I'm assuming one of the options that can do this is a deer. But we're gonna start out super small, and I'm gonna try a bunny. Okay. Uh, this is a meaty bunny. I do appreciate that the bunny is also gray. So are bunnies fast and agile in GTA the same way they are in real life? It doesn't feel that way at all. I'm 100% going to die. I got a question. How come my bunny had lethargy? God, the rabbits in GTA have absolutely no survival instinct. All right, we're gonna try a husky. Ah, yes. Supreme Doge. It's a thick dog. I've been feeding this husky well. I hate to say it, but I get the feeling that there's basically no way I'm gonna make this. Because again, the husky doesn't feel that fast, like at all. No. Ah, don't mind me, just going to do a nice swan dive into the grass. Let's try the, uh, the hero of all of GTA, the deer. Now, I know you might be thinking to yourself, too, it's terrible watching a doge die. Don't worry, it's not really a dog, it's just a dog, it's just gray still plays shaped vaguely like a dog. So if you think about it like that, it's not so bad. I mean, I die all the time, after all. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, look at the speed. Look at the speed and agility of the deer. What a glorious beast. The only problem is this slab of galloping venison, his head is too long. Like I can't get under the barrier you put here. Is that supposed to be like that? Can the, can the deer do, a, do an action roll? Can I do like a Michael Bay action roll underneath this wall? I don't think I can. I can't jump over it. All right, let's try something smaller and fast, a mountain lion. Now, as you all know, I have done a metric ton of testing with mountain lions. It generally involves me elbow dropping them or them eating me. The mountain lion is not fast enough. How about a coyote? Coyote is gonna die. There's no way. Yeah, the coyote's dead. Oh, the coyote gets the medal, the gold medal for the farthest jump though. How about a cow? Ah, yes, the old proximity mine fueled jump through the air. Like a ballerina, a graceful ballerina. The cow face slides upon the grass. How about Chop? Now Chop is technically a Rottweiler, but he's like a better one. He's like uh, he's like the, the main character 
Right, okay, so Chop can make it through. Now, not only can he make it through, I'm pretty sure he's short enough to complete the challenge. Experiment number eight. What animals can run in between human legs? That's very specific. Well, I suppose that's our humans. Here's our transformers. My guess is a rat would be one of them. Like you would pick the smallest thing you could, right? Now also, it looks like there's a ton of, what the, pick wrong and you die. Great. So do I have to aim this up? It's kind of like a, you know, one of those don't touch the wall challenges, the old style computer games. Yeah. Rat can definitely go through the legs. Doesn't matter your weight class of human, although this lady's legs are way closer together. Okay, this is like an unreasonably tight squeeze. Oh, it just phases through the legs. It doesn't even collide with the legs. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, it goes right through the foot. <laughs> Does it do it on all the pads? Yeah, the rat can make it through. So there's two options that you have to pick. And this is what it meant by picking wrong and you die. So you have to pick the one that you think is gonna be the end. So it's rat and hen, what was it? Rat and chop, coyote and rat, what was it rat and bunny, cat and rat. I mean, we're halfway there, the rat's one of them. The rat's sitting there, his little nose is going. He's like, I smell something. It smells like death. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna try the bunny. Cause the bunny is, well, I say the bunny is kind of small, but really this is like a mutant rabbit. Look at the size of this thing. Oh. I guess the rabbit does run into people's legs. Like, very powerfully, too. Why are you yelling at a rabbit? Are you afraid the rabbit's gonna take your wallet? Now, a cat can definitely go through your legs, but it's also a cat, so I imagine the cat's just going to be trying to trip people and kill them. Yep. The cat is the type of animal that brushes by your leg, but leaves a proximity mine on one of your calves when he's done. The cat cannot do it. How about the chicken? Chicken says delicious. The chicken is delicious. Oddly, the chicken cannot go through the legs, but it also doesn't push anyone. Huh. I think it with the bunny pushing people, the chicken would push people too, but I guess not. How about the pug? That is a no. Hey. Hey. You think you can do lawn care on my time? Yeah, I don't think so. Did you just try and stomp on a pug? I am now standing on top of you like I have conquered the greatest mountain in the universe. Mount Everest has been conquered by me. Enjoy that. Give me your wallet. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it as a pug. I'm gonna buy a nice flea treatment. All right, let's try Chop. Chop is really girthy. <laughs> so you, oh my God. <laughs> Not only does Chop go through your legs, he also murders you. I learned something very interesting with Chop. If you line it up correctly, hold on, watch this, watch this. Chop can go through people's legs. Like it's a real thing he's able to do. That's wild. There was nothing about, you know, not touching the sides. It just basically said, who can do this? Hold on, watch this. Yeah, and every other animal I've tried has collided and knocked people over and not, or knocked them to the side. I think that the answer's chop. Now, unfortunately, everyone I just experimented with spontaneously died. I had nothing to do with any of that, okay? But that means that, unless I'm about to die myself, the answer should be rat and chop, and it is the answer! Which brings us to experiment number nine. Can fire hurt you in mid-air? I don't know, Do, are you less Florida man? <laughs> are you less flammable in mid-air? I don't think you are. So step inside, shed my desire for human flesh. Just kidding, still have the desire. 13, so I guess this is a time challenge. Inside the circle, uh, wall disappears, and jump, ah! Okay, so, wait, do you have to parachute or skydive? I think the parachute's gonna get caught. Yeah, the parachute, well, okay, so that was unintentional, but I can tell you that if you're falling, you do get set on fire. Ow, and I just died to show you <laughs> that the fire did not murder me, and I still had some life left to give. Okay, so jump. And then we're gonna have to skydive through here. So you are set on fire, but you do survive. Ah, okay, that's why it's time. So there's a giant teleporter, but I have to fly into it before I, you know, run out of time and then die. Okay, no joke. I have been getting set on fire for the longest time. I think I figured something out though. There are a ton of platforms surrounding this thumbnail hole, but Somewhere, hold on, okay. There's a hole here somewhere, I guarantee it. Because there's no way to get past this, you always get set on fire. Okay, hold on, right there. Look at this, there's a hole, there's another thumbnail hole. 
Yeah, and then it ends right at the little fire spout. So jump. Watch this. Dodge the fire. Oh, never mind. Totally did not dodge the fire. All right, 13 seconds. Jump. And then tap, 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 tap. Go, 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 go. That worked. There you go. Oh, no. Okay, 13 seconds. And I found something really weird out. Okay, watch this. So this works. You can get past it like that if you go through the thumbnail hole. Look at how high, there's a, there's like a fire that I was, something on me was on fire, but it wasn't enough to cause the ragdoll effect, which is really interesting. So that experiment is done. Was it like a secondary experiment? So wait, if you, oh, okay. I think I know what this is testing. So this isn't about, can you skydive through a fire? This is about, can you parachute through a fire? So we've already found that skydiving, like free falling through a fire will set you on fire. I assume that doing it in a pit, Oh my God, it does it. You do not get killed. Ow, <laughs> I totally missed the area where I'm supposed to land. But you don't get set on fire if you're parachuting. Your parachute does get set on fire though. Okay, so you have to pull your parachute right away. Bring up your knees. This is really interesting. You don't burn alive. So having a parachute is like SPF 1 million. You land the parachutes on fire, but you do get to teleport to the next experiment. So now we're on experiment number 10. Can a car withstand a highly corrosive people for 30 seconds? What? This is the most random thing I think I've ever seen. Do you have a pool of urine? Clearly you do have a pool of urine. I love how the scientists are watching it. They're like, man, that is one highly corrosive pool of urine. So we have three options to find out if this is possible. You might as well start with the stupidest car of all. So into the circle. Does it teleport me or, oh, it does teleport you so okay i mean it's still it still drives oh okay still oh my god <laughs> oh the the roof of the car is starting to get a whoa the doors just fell off <laughs> uh oh the car is now on fire i'm not really sure that urine is supposed to be this flammable i'm not 100 percent certain also i'm now just sitting in it oh the car made it to the end i mean it's it's burning alive hold on it still kind of works oh god oh my god the engine <laughs> I can't get any like forward momentum out of the car. I'm mostly so Oh no, the engine totally just died. Like there's nothing now. Don't mind me while I go ahead and slowly step away from what is certain to be. Come on. Come on. Why don't you explode? There we go. An explosion. All right, vapid. And well, this one's taller. I guess it's mostly just hitting the wheels a lot more than the rest of the vehicle. The only problem is if it destroys all the wheels and I start to fall down, it's going to begin murdering the... Oh, the engine's already ablaze. Like, I'm pretty sure I could hear something cooking. Uh, and it's pretty close to where my, my human flesh is. Oh my god! This actually did worse than the other car. That I wouldn't have expected. This does worse than what is effectively, you know, the little uh, around towner car. All right, I mean, I expect the tank will do it. Also, stop watching me die over and over again. Guess what happens? Hold on. Everyone goes inside of the urine pool. Get in there. Perfect. I think I'm at an advantage with the tank because there's no doors to fall off. Am I even taking damage? I don't hear anything. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, the tank is on fire. The tank is definitely burning alive. Oh God. <laughs> this has to be the answer though, because neither of the other two vehicles made it. I assume, right? Like this should work, right? Oh my God, pieces of the tank are falling off. There is a panel of the tank laying on the ground. Okay, the tank is spewing black smoke and it barely runs, but it works. Let me see, we have a winner. Well, I guess I could say I drowned my sorrows in science experiments. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.